Hey folks, so I wanted to share with y'all this user benchmark that I have. Now, this is uh, the highest gaming score I have ever had. Uh, the other two scores are not the highest I've ever had, but gaming-wise, this is the highest. So I'm a little amazed by this, to be honest with you. That's why I made this video. Uh, some of the you out there, you know, don't put a lot of credibility into user benchmark. There are some things in it I like and some that I don't. Uh, at least there's a lot of uh, stuff to can compare between uh, setups, unlike um, some of the other benchmarks where you just get a number and doesn't really tell you a whole lot except that uh, your number is higher than it was. So... Um, Let's look at this down here. Now, I did put a slight overclock um, on this, and uh, mainly a core overclock. I set the uh, the V core to auto, uh, which you know whether that's a good idea or not, I don't know. But I didn't, you know, sit there and punch in uh, any exact value. So I believe it's actually adjusting on its own. That said. Um, this isn't even the highest score I've gotten for an i7. Um, I think I've gotten 108 was the highest I've gotten. And that one was definitely doing uh, overclock to 5. I think it was uh, either 5.3 for the first two cores. And um, most of the other ones were a higher value. But whatever I, I had, uh, I... I got a 108 there. This single core score is one of the highest I've ever had. And it may actually be the highest. Uh, I want to say I've had a higher quad score. And I'm pretty confident that I've had a higher uh, multi-core score. Matter of fact, 1600. The one I ran before this was 1640. But you see uh, some of the other stuff is not as high. Um, so let's go back to the one we're looking at. Now, this is on par for the graphics card, 117. Um, some people, you know, depending on the model, get higher scores. This isn't my highest um, NVMe M.2 score. I've been in the 300s. And then this is definitely not my highest um, RAM score because my 4133 has achieved a 115. So, and there's nothing else in here. How did it arrive at 128? Um, you know, you figure when the 3080s are out, they'll adjust this. And this is probably still based on, um, I would think, like a, uh, maybe not a 1070, but like an RTX 2060 would be 100%. Um, down here, that is. So, there you go, folks. Um, like I said, I am not sure how I got such a high value. Now, here's the kicker, okay, if you made it this far into the video. This was with this little itty-bitty mini ITX ASRock Z490M, which I had uh, I had given up on thinking that, you know, this thing was going to be able to perform. Um, power limits are something that uh, I have not been able to adjust. You can't open up Intel's Extreme Tuning Utility and actually do anything there. It all has to be done inside the BIOS. So that's all, uh, that's really all I had for this video. If uh, you know you're out there and you you've have an idea how this is so high, uh, please let me know. I don't think my overclock did it. I could be wrong, though, but, uh, you know, it just seems a little fishy. Um, all right, there you go.